Luke eleven thirteen, Jesus said this, If you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? How much more? What a daring question Jesus throws out to us. We're promised by Jesus to receive the more of the Holy Spirit's presence and anointing by asking. And here's what I've discovered. God will use the seasons of our life where we feel the most empty, the most desperate, or sometimes even when we're right on top of the mountain and we don't even think we need more. I'm not so sure that day that David got called back to the house and Samuel the prophet was there, that David was in a desperate place. I think he was carrying some shame and some of that for those early years of his life. But he might have been in a good season of his life. All of a sudden, unexpectedly, the Spirit of God comes on him. We've, I've observed this over the years. I've seen people that hunger and are pressing in after God and the Spirit of God comes on them. I've seen others that are disinterested, not interested at all, and the Spirit of God comes on them. But I do know this, I have seen a correlation where there's greater hunger individually and certainly corporately for more of the Spirit. When that begins to happen and there's a collective cry, God, we know there's more and we're not satisfied with the status quo. We want to see, God, the fullness of everything that you have available for us today. When that begins to be a cry, all of a sudden he begins to fill the empty hearts and the fire begins to fall. 